Hello, my name is Anika and I'm an artist. I'm here today as part of the quarantine and chill campaign with Lion Eyes. And I hope you guys are at home and staying safe and washing your hands regularly. I'll be sharing some tips and tricks about acrylic painting and what you can do as a beginner. And also a DIY idea so that you can do it at your home. Let me know if you like it and I hope this video inspires you. So diving straight in, uh, my first tip would be finding the right canvas for your painting. The first um, choice would actually be a cotton stretch canvas or if you don't have that, you can always use a canvas board for it. And there are simple things such as a basic birch plywood sheet that you can use for your canvas. You would need to remember a few things before you do that, such as priming it so that the colors really pop in the end. But you can always take care of that at a later stage. The second thing that I would use where if I were starting out would actually be only using like two brushes. So I would only recommend using one flat brush and one round brush and um, use the flat brush to create the backdrop and then use the round brush to create the detailing such as the trees or the characters that you draw in your image or the mountains and add highlights and shadows with the round brush. Don't worry about um, not having too many brushes. You can always reuse and wash them properly and store them. Also do remember to wash them with soap and water after each use and lay them horizontally on a surface so that they dry quickly. The next thing I would be talking about is um, the paint tube sizes that we buy. So personally, I was naturally leaned towards the bigger paint tube sizes because of the cost factor, I would agree. But um, I think that it is, um, it is important to remember that we need to find what we like first rather than investing in something really, really um, expensive. And I would recommend trying and experimenting out brands and colors before you go and buy the bigger sizes. And you don't need to worry about not having too many shades at first because you can always mix and match colors on a palette and use blacks and sh blacks and whites to create other shades of the colors. And when I talk about palettes, the only thing you need to remember when you're using a palette is that it should be a non-porous material. You don't have to use a material where the paint would be soaked in. So something as simple as like a stainless steel dish in your house can be used as a palette. And you can easily peel off the palette once the paint dries up. So that's not an issue. And there was one um, issue I really faced when I was a beginner and that was the acrylics drying really quickly. And what I did to avoid that was a few hacks I saw online. So the first hack was basically using a paint, a water sprayer to um, put on the palette and so that it retains the moisture and not do it a lot, just like one small spray would help. Doing it at regular intervals really helps with the moisture content. And the other thing would be that if I need like a coffee break in between layers, what I used to do was put like a cling film on top of the palette and then take a break. And as the paint is drying up, come back and the paint is uh, as is. The consistency is great. It has not dried up. And that also really, really helps. I think these are the few basic tips that you should always remember. And um, there is also something that I do want to share that is like the last advice and the most important one. I would say um, that you should not worry about what you create. You should worry about how much you create. So create more, worry less. Don't compare yourself to other people on social media. They're professionals, you're a beginner. So there is actually no comparison. And have fun on the way. I want to show you how much fun I have. So I'm also sharing a time-lapse video of me painting. It was a very recent piece I did last week. I did not have the perfect canvas, so I decided to use whatever I had at my disposal. And I used the palette knife to create some textures and put different colors to create more depth and detail into the piece. I hope you liked it. And if you do happen to create something of your own after being after watching this video, do let me know and share it with me. And don't worry if you don't have any paints, you can do something very similar to what I did last week. And it was actually um, upcycling sneakers that I already had lying around in my house. So I had this um, old white sneakers from Vans and they were really dirty. I had stopped wearing them and it was really putting me down. So because I did not have any canvases, I decided to make them the new canvas and painted them white. 
let it dry for a couple of days and then use a black paint marker to doodle all over it. It was a very fun activity to do and maybe you and your kids can do it at your home. And I'm sure you guys all have that one pair that you've stopped wearing. It can, it's not only supposed to be white, you can do it with colors as well, but it needs to be made of a cloth. And um, I hope this video really helped you with how to get started and gave you a push to do this. And uh, let me know if you have any questions. You can reach me at my Instagram handle and I'll be happy to answer any queries that you have. I hope you stay safe and stay home and color and have fun when you do so. Bye and have a good day.